Everyone, please say hello to my sweet friends. This is Emma. This is Phoebe back here. Emma and Phoebe are looking for a home together because they are best friends and they can't imagine living life without one another. And we can't imagine that for them either. So they are a package deal. They are 10 year old um, mini Australian Shepherds. Hi. Um, as you can see, they're a little on the plump side. And when I say a little on the plump side, I mean a lot on the plump side. Um, so they are looking to lose some pounds and have an owner that's dedicated to helping them do that. They love going for short little walks. They're actually, now that they're losing a little bit of weight, they're, they're going even further than they did before. Their kind of a walk is more like a little leisurely stroll. They like to stop and sniff things, um, check out what's going on around in the yard. But they are sweet, sweet girls just looking for a quiet forever retirement home. Um, the perfect ideal home for them is obviously together. Um, a home that's a little on the quieter side. They're kind of over having a lot of busyness going on around them. Oh, is your belly rubs? Oh, it's your auntie belly rubs. Oh. But they're also really looking for someone who's dedicated to helping them lose some weight. So feeding them only their, their dog food in measured quantities every day and taking them for walks so that they feel better will be an amazing thing for them. As you can see, they are both lovely, lovely girls. So if you think that you might have the best fit forever home for our friends Emma and Phoebe, come in today and ask to meet these two sweet girls. Yay! Yay, Auntie! Yay, Auntie! All right, Clackamas County. I'd love to introduce you to my friend Padre. Padre is about a five-year-old Siberian Husky. If you haven't had Huskies before, know that they are busy smart dogs. Um, they were bred to have a job and when we have a bored husky we generally have a husky that is looking for something to do and sometimes it gets them into trouble. Our friend Padre here is looking for a home that does not have children or livestock. So no backyard chickens for my friend here. He's looking for a home that has kids that are at least over the age of nine. And if there's another dog in the home, he'd like to meet them here first. The another thing to know about Huskies is that they are known escaped artists. Um, so he'll definitely need a yard that is securely fenced with at least a six foot high fence. He's a really sweet boy though. As sweet as he is handsome, he is. Yes, he is, yes, he's a good boy. He does well going for his walks here with potty walkers and staff. He enjoys his outside time. You got a niche there, bud? He enjoys his snacks during the day. He gets a Kong every day. He has a bully stick in there as well. Um, but he's looking for, you know, someone that would give him the exercise that he needs every day, whether it's physical and mental exercise. He's a smart boy, so puzzle feeders are really good for him. Um, find it games are really fun for him. Sometimes you can use like a cardboard box and wrinkle up some newspaper and throw his kibble in there and just kind of let him search it all out. Stuff like that would really work his brain and keep him a happy, healthy boy. If you have Husky experience, that's a bonus. We always love people with Husky experience because everyone thinks they're really handsome dogs, and they are, but oftentimes people aren't prepared for um, the type of dog that they are. So if you think that you have the home that is a best fit for my friend Padre here, come in and ask to meet him today. He's a sweet, gentle boy. Yes, he is. And he's ready to meet his forever friend.
This is Cheyenne. Cheyenne is about 10 years old. She is a pity Nick, and she is so ready to find her forever home, she can't even stand it. Um, Cheyenne will definitely do better with a person who is um, home the majority of the time. She does seem to get a little vocal um, when she wants to be around people. Um, so probably apartments wouldn't be great for her just in case um, you're heading out to do something and she's vocal about what she's wanting at that moment. She's super sweet though. She was really kind of a little nervous when she first got here and she went and hung out in some of our offices to kind of just settle in and get comfortable. And now she is just a sweet, happy girl. She loves going for walks. Um, she's not looking to do anything too exuberant. She's not looking to do anything too crazy on her walks, but she does have a little bit of a skip in her step. So maybe a nice little jaunt around the neighborhood once or twice a day would be good for her. We're actually playing her favorite game right now, which won't require much from her forever person. Um, you're sitting down watching the evening news or a movie. Um, this is about how she likes it um, in terms of playing with her ball. Drop it. She gives it back very nicely. All right, everyone, please say hello to my sweet friend, Polka. Polka is still on the hunt for her forever home and we know it is out there. It is a home that does not have any cats at it because it's just too much fun, she says. She's looking for a home that will take her for her exercise walks every day. As you can see, um, Polka's been doing a lot of training since she got here. Down. Up. Hey, sit. Down. Good girl. And she's looking for someone that will continue her training with her. As you can see, she is really into it and she works hard and she loves to learn. So she's looking for someone that will help keep her brain active with her training because as you see, she really loves it. She's a smart girl. She loves her activity outside and going to play in the yards that we have here and going for walks, but she's also really snuggly as well. She's kind of that you know, go out, take her for an adventure on the mountain or go for a nice long walk and then go home um, and have a chill night at home. She just was licking cheese off of my leg and that was pretty tasty, she said. Um, but she'll be the kind of dog that will love to go out, do that adventure with you and then go home and have a snuggle on the couch. She's a sweet, sweet girl. She's been here for a minute. And when I say a minute, I need a long time looking for forever home, right? Yes. So if you think that you have what it takes to be Polka's favorite forever person, come on in and ask to meet my girlfriend today. Good girl. Watch me. Yes. All right, everyone, please say hello to my sweet friend, Baron. Baron is a 14 year old, maybe Roddy, Shepherd mix. He was a farm dog previously. So he's used to being outside, hanging out in a barn. Whoops. Um, so living directly in a home might be a little bit harder for him, but if it's a home that has like a nice big backyard where my 14 year old friend can sit outside and sunbathe, that might be a good compromise, he says. Also, if you have a farm, we have a farm dog for you. He's super sweet. Um, he loves being outside, and we're hoping to find that perfect home for him. If there are other dogs there, he would need to meet them here first. He's definitely not looking for a playmate. He's 14. He's over those silly shenanigans of playing. Really, he just wants to hang out and bask in the sun, maybe hang out in a barn with some horses or a donkey. Huh? a sweet fella though look at him taking treats ever so nicely 
He's had a couple baths since he got here. Yeah, so he, he's smelling a little better these days. Yes, he is. But he's just a sweet boy looking for a porch or a backyard or a farm um, that he can just hang out on and watch the sun come up and go down every day. That's about the speed he likes. He does great going for walks here with our staff as well as volunteers. As you can see, he likes being pet. And he likes his treats that he takes very gently. Yes, he does. But he's looking for his forever home. Um, he'd, look at, he'd like a home that maybe doesn't have too many stairs or he doesn't have to conquer too many stairs. Um, and easy access again to that yard or um, that property so that he can just go out there and, and be an, out, an outside dog that he's so used to being. Yes, that's a good boy. If you think that you have that, that wonderful home that Baron's looking for, come in and ask to meet him today. Yes, he says, come in and meet me. That's a nice boy. I like hot dog. Good boy. All right, everyone, this is my friend Akira. Akira is just shy of one year old. She is a gorgeous Siberian Husky. She is an active, energetic girl. Yes, she is. She likes to play with balls. Um, we were playing ball outside earlier and she had so much fun. Yes, she did. Over here, Mom. Good girl. Good girl. She's looking for a home that has um, no cats. If there is a dog at home, she'd probably do better with a male that's around her age. It'd be great if you have husky experience. Um, again, they're gorgeous, gorgeous dogs, but oftentimes um, people just can't handle the amount of energy that they have and how smart they are. There you go. She's looking for a home with a fenced yard. She's not an apartment kind of girl. That would be too tight for her. So she's looking for a home with at least a six foot secure fence to keep her safe. She'd love to be an adventure buddy. If you're a hiker, um, maybe a runner, someone who's outdoorsy, going out and doing things around here, she'd love to be your partner for that. But she's a sweet girl. She's a young girl, just under a year old. She still has a lot to learn, so she's looking for someone who's dedicated to her success. Um, the work that you put in here at the beginning will last her a lifetime. And it'll make your relationship with her so great. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. So if you think that you have the home that a kid is looking to, to fit into, come on in and meet her today. Yes. 